Hello and welcome to our daily news program coming to you from Canal Algérie to the headlines. The national cohesion day between the Algerian people and army is celebrated to honor the commitment of establishing and promoting the rule of law. Army General Seishin Griha, Chief of Staff of the National People's Army, on an inspection visit to the Qali'a Transmission Higher School. The customs clearance producers are being eased at the Port of Algiers to facilitate importing vehicles. More details will be unveiled in this news bulletin. And the ancient city of Kasbah is spotlighted as part of its national day celebrated to preserve its rich legacy. Good evening and welcome back. First, altogether, the Algerian people and the army remained faithful to their ancestral values of cohesion and solidarity. They are still determined to implement the president's commitments to build a new Algeria on the basis of radical reforms meant to uproot bureaucracy and corruption. More insights with Ines Kilo. The cohesion between the Algerian people and the National People's Army illustrates the firm bonds of brotherhood that are quite noticeable in all circumstances. People have always been mobilized alongside their army to defend the interest of the nation and full attempts intended to undermine stability and territorial integrity. In a unique popular outburst, the Algerians showed their attachment to a united Algeria committed to the path of development. The demands made by the people constituted a platform for all the changes that have started to take shape on the ground in accordance with the commitments of the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun. The head of state began by putting Algeria back on the rails of constitutional legality and popular legitimacy, which allowed him to build the state, institutions and regain people's trust. President Boon has managed within only three years and despite certain unforeseen events to transform Algeria via important achievements in various fields. The President of the Republic has honored his commitments. There have been many achievements in various sectors. May God help him in his mission. In three years, the President has managed to face many challenges. All challenges, all the decisions he has taken are courageous. If the revival of the national economy is of exceptional interest to the president with the relaunch of many industrial projects, creator of wealth and jobs, the president of the republic puts the interest of citizens at the top of the priorities with unprecedented decisions. This in the case of unemployment allowance, but also of increases granted to the benefit of workers, decisions aimed at improving the purchasing power of Algerians and denote the social character of the state. Faced with a passive culture and obstacles to the implementation of some measures, he has decided the President of the Republic is determined to strike with an iron fist in order to face the old practices and fight corruption and speculation. There are a lot of things that the President of the Republic wants to fight for, and he is very keen on the pace of embodying the decisions he made. We liked how the President insisted in enshrining his decisions as soon as possible. He cares about his people. The president is determined now more than never before to put an end to all the abuses that are hindering Algeria's development, stating that drastic measures will be shortly taken. A staunch determination and a frank speech highly appreciated by the Algerian people. In other news, the Army General Chief of Staff of the National People's Army carried out an inspection and working visit to the Qali'a Transmission Higher School belonging to the 1st Military Region. The details with Melissa Kovash. A 
After the welcoming ceremony, the Army General followed a presentation in the presence of the Secretary General of the National Defense Ministry, the Commander of the 1st Military Region, the Head of the Communication and Command Control Systems Department, alongside heads of departments and general staff of the National People's Army on the educational and infrastructural aspects of this prestigious training center presented by the Commander of the School. The Army General then inspected the educational facilities, notably the didactic laboratories and the teaching directorate of the information and command systems, before following a presentation related to an end-of-studies project presented by cadets' career officers. During this meeting with the executives, staff and trainees of the Higher School of Transmission, the Army General gave an orientation speech followed via video conference by the executives of the transmission field at the level of all the military regions, where he underlined the main importance attached by the High Command of the National People's Army to the transmission sector, which played an essential role in the coordination of operations during the glorious Liberation Revolution. <laughs> لسلاح الإشارة بالنظر لحيوية الدور الذي يؤديه في أوقات السلم والحرب he also added that the will of men who were in charge of telecommunication back at that time, despite being equipped with simple means, allowed them to detect the enemy's movements across the Algerian territories and carry out successful operations, indicating that this field evolved thanks to the first generations of the National People's Army, who deployed enormous efforts to endow this field with human and material potentialities. كانت بفضل الرعيل الأول في الجيش الوطني الشعب الذين بذلوا جهودا جبارة من أجل من هذا السلاح كل المؤهلات البشرية والمادية والتجهيزات التي تعينه على أداء المهام الحساسة الموكلة إليه. The Army General also underlined the determination of the High Command of the National People's Army to promote this sector at all levels, adding that under the aegis of the President of the Republic, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Minister of National Defense, and thanks to his support and guidance, they will deploy all their strength to ensure the fulfillment of this mission, carried out by professionals equipped with high-tech means, which will ensure its rational use. <laughs> في ظل قيادة وتوجيهات السيد رئيس الجمهورية القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة وزير الدفاع الوطني على إتمامها بكل حزم وجدية he also emphasized the close relationship existing between the training process and the combat preparation process and that the combat readiness naturally reflects the quality of the education and training received وفي هذا الصدد بالذات أحرص على التأكيد على العلاقة المتينة والمتبادلة التي تربط ما بين مسعى التعليم والتكوين من جهة ومسعى التحضير القتالي من جهة أخرى. During the meeting, the Army General gave a series of guidelines to the managers and executives of the National People's Army Corps, insisting on the maintenance of means and equipment provided, as well as the doubling of efforts so as to guarantee the accomplishment of the assigned missions in the best conditions. In other news, a meeting of the government was presided over by Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman, during which the following points were examined. First, and in the field of agriculture, the government reviewed a draft bill related to the sustainable management of forest and animal resources and their preservation. Regarding the energy sector, the government studied a draft executive decree relating to the construction of substations, terminal stations of the multi-product pipeline connecting the fuel station of El Unma in Sitif province to that of Sidi Rzin in Algiers. In the health sector, the government examined a draft bill for the creation of five specialized hospitals in medical and surgical emergencies in the provinces of Batna, Algiers, Anaba, Oran, Mascara, and Tlemcen. The government then listened to a presentation made by the Minister of Post and Telecommunications on the role of Algeria 
of Algeria Post in supporting the generalization of financial services and e-payment in the country. For his part, the Minister of Trade made a presentation regarding the free trade zones and commercial zones. Finally, both the Ministers of Communication and Housing made a presentation on the construction of a media city, namely Zaire Media City, which will create a professional environment based on international standards. And 24 hours ahead of celebrating the 52nd anniversary of nationalizing hydrocarbons, we shed light on one of the most important facilities run by Sonat Khak Group in Inaminas province, a key plant that works relentlessly to increase gas production. Story by Saida Mayouf, taken off by Ines Kello. Owanet, an area in the Inaminas province, more precisely in Elizi, known by its production of gas and oil, exploration and production, division and production activity, defying all the harsh climate conditions in this desert on the Libyan borders. It's a major project for Owanet in the Tinhat Owanet gas field, a structural project that aims to increase gas production with a daily supply of about 4.7 million cubic meters per day. The gisement d'Owanet has a decline continuous. The ONET field has witnessed a sharp decline by the end of 2019. Gas production was about 4.5 million cubic meters per day. But with the joining of EPC3 and EPC1 projects, production capacity went up. EPC3 allowed a large supply of gas estimated at 9 million cubic meters per day, which made it possible to reach a production capacity of 14 cubic meters per day by the beginning of 2021. Bashir Mansouri, one of the project leaders, witnessed the birth of this colossal achievement called SBF Boosting. Out of the 87 wells in Tinhart project, 50 were received, which managed to produce in 2019 10 million cubic meters per day. After that, the new SBF plant was established to complete the remaining 37 wells. Currently, SBF is in full service with a production capacity of 16 million cubic meters. L'SBF est en service, en pleine capacité, pour une production de 16 millions de standards mètres cubes. This mega project consists of a facility ensures the connection of 36 gas wells, from tin hurt field to the separation and compression facilities located in the adjacent Owanet field. And at the Port of Algiers, the Customs Services offer numerous facilitations for the importers of vehicles to ease the clearance producers, which are smoothly carried out to the great delight of those concerned by this operation. Najat Yar reports. Just like many Algerians, Yamin has just arrived at the Port of Algiers with his new vehicle. He has decided to change residence and return to settle in Algeria. And to accomplish the customs clearance, he must first go through the expert and thus have a certificate of conformity. They requested some documents such as the passport and the purchase invoice and the customs documents and their copies. By submitting them, they gave me this card which I'll use to do the vehicle estimation and will be done by recovering our documents right here and pay the taxes. The relevant authorities have set everything in place to facilitate customs clearance procedures. Almost everything is computerized, including the calculation of customs taxes. As soon as the passenger presents his file to the customs officer, he needs to submit all the necessary information on the system, and the rest is done automatically. We have been able to optimize the file process in time and thus ease the procedure. After the closure period dictated by COVID, more and more individuals are opting for importing new vehicles. On average, nearly 600 vehicles pass through the port of Algiers every day. 200 of them are concerned with the customs clearance. In a different activity, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and National Community of Bradram Tala Mamra received the President of the Kenyan Parliament, Moses Wetangula, with whom he reviewed several issues of common interest as well as ways and means of upgrading bilateral relations in several fields. 
For his part, the Health Minister Abdel Haq Sayhi received a delegation of Jordanian MPs. The meeting centered on ways and means of promoting cooperation and investment in addition to prospects of consolidating partnership in several sectors. In other news, and as part of the continuous efforts to fight terrorism, combined detachments of the National People's Army arrested eight elements supporting terrorist groups in separate operations across the national territory. They also seized and destroyed a homemade bomb following a common operation in Bumardas province. And in the framework of fighting organized crime and the scourge of drug trafficking in our country, combined detachments of the National People's Army, in coordination with the various security services arrested during several operations carried out throughout the military regions, 81 drug traffickers and thwarted attempts to introduce quantities of drugs from the borders with Morocco, amounting to 7 quintals and 41 kilograms of processed kief and seized 299,000 psychotropic tablets in Borjbar, Beji Mukhtar, Tindouf and Janet. Detachments of the National People's Army intercepted 210 individuals and seized 42 vehicles, 315 generators, 50 jackhammers, 11 metal detectors, as well as quantities of explosives, detonation tools and equipment used in illegal gold mining operations while 42 other individuals were arrested and 12 shotguns, 44 quintals of tobacco, more than 16,000 units of beverages and huge quantities of foodstuffs intended for smuggling and speculation amounting to 79 tons were seized in separate operations. On the other hand, the border guards, in coordination with the services of the National Gendarmerie, thwarted attempts to smuggle large quantities of fuel amounting to more than 44,000 liter in Burj Baji Mukhtar, Tsukaharas, Atarov, and Bissa provinces. For their part, the Coast Guard foiled attempts of illegal immigration and rescued 97 individuals on board of homemade boats, while 658 illegal immigrants of different nationalities were arrested throughout the national territory. And finally, the National Casbah Day is celebrated today with several activities meant to preserve the priceless legacy of this ancient Medina or city ranked among the universal patrimony. More details with our reporter Najah Tayyar. <laughs> one of the most beautiful sites in Algeria. A symposium devoted to the architectural aspect of Al-Qasba was held where various themes and topics were evoked by historians and art specialists. On the occasion of the Qasba Day, we have programmed this event. We started by a conference about Tahat Shuhadat that was called Lallahum. We also did a presentation on Algiers mosques. Then we discussed the Caspa intangible heritage. We will discuss later the search and the excavation operations that we carried out in the framework of a preventive archaeology study in Sahat Shuhada, where we found numerous important discoveries. The Caspa is a city with an extensive history that left behind Ottoman palaces, mosques and luxurious houses that narrate the stories of the ancient societies, all the aesthetic features, the used materials and the architectural elements still keep their original aspects that allowed the Caspa to be among the universal legacy sites. And with that we wrap up our today's edition. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye.